Hey everybody, Joy here. If you watched my last shine, Jerry and me on Sunday, you know we're down here at NIRVC. The place that we come in Dallas to get our coaches fixed. So, what did we come here for? We've got our other coach, the Ventana, the one that's for sale. Oh, there was a recall on it. And so it was totally paid for. They didn't pay for our diesel to get here or our diesel to get back or our time. But they paid for the recall, which had something to do with the wiring under both of the chairs. The driver and the passenger, you know, up front. So, <laughs> supposed to be here one day. This is day three. Is anybody keeping a record of this? Boy, I should be. I'd like to write a letter to the owners, the owner of the owner of the owner. It's way up there somewhere. Because <laughs> the little girl we're dealing with here is a royal pain, let me tell you. She's one of the younger generation. You hear about those three girls that totally destroyed that restaurant because they wanted some more sauce and the people told them it was $1.25 for extra sauce and they complete, they beat up the employees, they totally tore up the restaurant, the place is closed, New York City. Anyway, we're here. We are about 25 minutes away from Plano and Plano has a humongous sewing store. They have sewing and fabric, and I know they sell Berninas. They sell tons of Berninas. I don't know about baby locks, but I know they sell the Berninas. They sell the long arms and all the different sewing machines, embroidery machines, sergers, all of that sort of thing. Um, the counter, when you go in and check in, it's, it's good grief. 10 yards long? <laughs> I mean, the whole length of the store. And all, it's like going to Walmart almost. It's just unbelievable. So my machine was there. I left it last time we were here, so I went to pick up my machine. Well, you remember last time I was here? I told you about the store called Fabric Fanatics. There's a store called Fabric Fanatics, and pardon the air conditioner, it's 104 degrees outside today, and it's still morning, so it's not bad yet. But yes, we've got to have the air conditioners. So, about five minutes away from this store with sewing machines, it's called Stitch house texas stitch house texas and about five minutes away from it is the um batik fabric store it's called fabric fanatics and they sell only batiks and i went there last time i was here and i bought all of the browns and the blues that i made the easter quilt remember my cross and he is risen my easter quilt well that's where i got all of that fabric so I wasn't making any particular quilt this time, but you know, we're here all day long stuff. We're waiting for um, Numar, who manufactures this RV, to call back. <laughs> call back. We were here all day yesterday, they didn't call back. We're already here till 10 o'clock this morning, they haven't called back. I said, we're going home, period, we're going home. So Jerry's up there at the office trying to figure out what the heck, how long do we have to stay here? I told him, I said, if I have to get a taxi, I am going home today because I've got to water my plants. So we went to Fabric Fanatics, and the first thing that happened was I saw this quilt. You know, I have a whole bunch of jelly rolls. I've probably got 30 or more. And when I get home, I'll have to count them and line them up and show them all to you. Whole bunch of jelly rolls. They're still in the plastic. <laughs> Most of them I got from Missouri Star Quilt Company on their daily deal. And so if I liked them, and especially a lot of batiks. And so I bought those. And so I keep thinking, I've got to make some quilts with these jelly rolls. And I know about that jelly roll race where you just sew strip after strip after strip together. And I think they always turn out ugly. I don't like them. So I saw this quilt in the window and when I walked in the store. Pardon me, that was a sneeze. I'll put a picture of the quilt I'm talking about right here. So of course, I could tell right away at a glance that it was made with jelly rolls. But, and it looked like it was the jelly roll race kind of thing, but I actually liked that one. And so I asked the lady that was working there and she said, yes, that's a free pattern. We have a free pattern for it. And I said, oh, yay, can I make, I said, is that like a jelly roll race? She said, well, it's sort of like one. Only we don't leave the strips full length. We cut the strips and then we sew them together so they're shorter. And oh, I just think it turns out so much better. I saw this other quilt there too that I really like. I want to show it to you because maybe y'all will know the pattern. It's hanging in their window also. 
I really liked it. Jerry was outside on the phone talking to somebody that wants to buy this coach, and the guy was Mr. Super Talkative. And so um, I was sitting there waiting for Jerry to get off the phone. I'd already been in, I'd already bought my stuff, I got back in the car. Well, Jerry can't drive and talk on the phone at the same time. So I noticed another quilt in the window. So I got out of the car and I went and I took a picture of it. Here it is. So I went in and I told the lady, I said, hey, Buck. <laughs> and I said, I noticed that other quilt in the window. I said, I want to know what pattern it is because I really like it and it uses jelly rolls too, obviously. She said, oh my gosh, she said, we don't know what pattern that is. She says, we have no name, no ticket, no anything. We don't know what pattern that is. So if any of you know what pattern that quilt is that I just showed you, will you please tell me? I looked up yesterday Atkinson patterns and I looked up just jelly roll patterns and I looked up um, cozy, is it called cozy quilts or something? And I could not find that pattern. I think I can make it up myself, but just in case, if y'all know, let me know. So I went in there and I said, I've been thinking about making this quilt called a mystery quilt from Edita Sitar. They're making it right now. It's called the Summer Mystery Quilt at Laundry Basket Quilts. And I said, I have tons of fabric. I said, I probably have as much fabric at my house as you have here, only I don't have bolts. And well, I do sort of have bolts, little bolts. But um, I said, I don't have any orange no orange at my house. She said, oh, we have some oranges. So I went, my original plan was to buy some orange, right? <laughs> so let me see if I got some. Oh, she has them folded together. Let me unfold it because she has them folded together. Here it is. Here's the orange. All boutiques, you know. So how gorgeous of an orange is that? Yeah, she has a whole bunch of them put together here. Is that all one? Yeah. And so then I thought, well, I might as well buy something else. I'm here. <laughs> so I started looking for some backgrounds. I always look for background stuff. And so I found this one and I thought I might use it in Jerry's. Do you know Jerry's birthday is September 30? And I thought I am going to dash home and I'm going to start making that kitty quilt for him because he will be so surprised. I don't know, I might have to wait on labeling all the books. Um, there's two pictures. There's a picture of Jerry holding two kittens. Uh, and then there's another picture of the two cats grown up. And I am going to put those pictures in the quilt, in little frames on the bookcase. Oh, he's gonna go crazy over it. So I thought this would be pretty for that quilt because it's a little bit masculine. And I thought it would be a pretty background. Just joy style, you know. So I bought that. Nothing was on sale. Nothing was on sale. <laughs> Everything was 11 bucks a yard or more. And so then I was just wandering around and I saw this and I thought I have to make a blouse out of that. I have. See, do you love it or what? Do you just love I can see this on Viv. On Viv and on me. We should be twin sisters and have the same top. Ha! <laughs> oh! I love it. I just love it. I mean, it just jumped. They had it on the floor, leaned up, you know, like this, the bolt against the um, the cabinets and the shelving. And I went, oh, I love it. You know, turquoise, turquoise is my thing. So this is for a blouse. And so then I saw some pinks and I look good in my opinion. I look good in fuchsias. I think this is fuchsia, bright pinks. And I saw these two pinks, and so I thought, oh my goodness, I have to have blouses. So I bought two yards each of these blouse ones. See, what do you think about that? Huh? I, I held up black one time, oh, a year or two ago, and somebody commented, you do not need to be wearing that black. That black is wearing you. So I don't care if it wears me or I wear it. I love it, and I'm going to make it. <laughs> and so here's one pink that I had to have. And then here is the other pink that I had to have. Now, did I get two yards? Uh-oh. This one's not for a blouse. This one is just to put in my stash so I'll have a bright pink. But this one is two yards, and it's for a blouse. So that was my shopping spree. And so then I noticed 
that, and I notice Edita has this now too. She has all these little kits, these little packages of kits, and you can get a kit of green, a kit of blue, a kit of brown, a kit of whatever color. And so I saw this of yellows, and I thought, you know, I don't have hardly any yellows. And so I bought this, just so I can put a piece of yellow here and there. <laughs> what do you think about that? So, oh, but then, but then, but then. I forgot about this part. <laughs> okay, so I walk in. A whole bunch of ladies back there sewing. They get together and they sew together in the classroom. But the clerk wasn't busy. She, so she it was just me and her. And so I got her all to myself, which of course is my favorite thing on the planet. <laughs> and so I told her, I said, I said, I'm embarrassed to say this, but I said, I've got at least 20 or 30 jelly rolls. And I said, I have just got to get them made up into some quilts. And I was looking at that pattern over there. And um, I said, is that quilt made of all batiks? And she said, yes, it is. It's all batiks. And I said, oh my gosh, I just love it. I love it. And so then right there where I was, was this table display. And this was on it. And she said, we've got a petite jelly roll here. And I said, oh, I could never buy that. I just could never buy that. I said, I've got all those rolls of jelly rolls and I've absolutely got to use them. Well, somehow <laughs> this ended up <laughs> in my basket. You bad, bad jelly roll. <laughs> Do I love turquoise? Do I love pink? Come on. Oh my goodness. How could I resist? So this is going to be my, my jelly roll race, um, jelly roll that I use for it. Okay. So I got that and I did manage to pick up my fixed sewing machine. My sewing machine did have a problem. Something was wrong with the hook and they didn't charge me any extra for, uh, replacing it or doing whatever they did to it. But you know, they still charge you a hundred bucks for service, but I think I'm going to take that machine now. It's a Virtuosa, and I think I paid 2000 for it, brand new. And so that's a cheap, that's a real cheap Bernina, y'all. <laughs> and so since it's got, I think it has an automatic needle threader on it. And it also has a needle down. My 930 does not have either one of those things. So I'm going to take my 930 out of the Dutch Star that I've named Stardust, and I'm going to put this sewing machine in there to be my travel machine. Okay? So... That's all I'm up to. What are y'all up to? What are y'all working on? What are y'all doing? It's pretty. I mean, it's nice and sunny, and I love sunny. But who is it hot? 104, 105, Dallas, America. Oh, my goodness. And same up there at our house. Jerry was showing me last night. You know, we sit here with absolutely nothing to do, and I don't have my sewing machine. We're supposed to be here one day. One day. This was day three. I actually got here Sunday. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So four days into this. And so he was on his computer. And he said, oh, come here and look at this, Joy. And he was on Google Earth or something and looking down on our house. And, and I didn't know that's what he was doing. And I looked at his screen and I said, that looks like our house. That looks like your barns. He said, that is, Joy. <laughs> so I didn't know you could do that. And it was taken, whoever takes the pictures, I don't know who goes out there from Google and does your house, um, or if it comes from the satellite in the sky or what, but wherever it came from, it's not from now. It's from back when there were no leaves on the trees. If the leaves were on the trees, you probably couldn't even see any of the stuff there. But um, you could see all of our neighbors. You could see Lake Texoma. You could see our two ponds. You could see, it was just really cool. Did y'all know you can do that? I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> I'm too busy sewing and quilting. <laughs> okay, I can only have 15 minutes and I think I'm up to 14, so I have to go. But I'll be back soon, I promise. <laughs>